Hi guys! Hello. This is Kyle. Yeah, I'm Kyle. Nah, it's okay. I'm Cisco. Yeah. Thanks. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, Merry Christmas to all of you beautiful people, and as you can clearly see, we are playing a tiny classic. Uh, Pansy Kazoo. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get that. Get that there. How could you tell if she even got a booger? Her, her hands are the same color. <laughs> you didn't see it? No! That pixelated blotch at the end of the tip? There was no Just way that was there. That was. that was not there. That was. You were so full of shit. I think, yeah, that's what happens when you poop them. Comes out when you poop them. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, have you ever played Baby Blue? No. Oh. Do you know the story? Um, like, kind of like it's the... about a bear and some other thing. Yeah, okay, well, it's about a bear trying to save his sister uh. from this hag because, you know, she she wants to be beautiful. And the only way she can get that beauty is from a little girl. Yeah. There's her running. Hi, everybody! That's a little weird. What, the voice? Well, that, oh, the plot. The, 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 the <laughs> plot of having to kidnap a small child so it would be pretty. Yeah. It now, is she, would, if she succeeds, would she look like the child? She looks, no, she looks sexy when she succeeds. Oh my god. Yeah, like even... it's, like it's weird. Oh, you're, you're weird. No, I'm serious. Okay. When I play this and I quit the game, and they show you that game over, you'll say it. You'll say it. I'll show you. Like, I'm almost. Oh, you mean really... when you die, which you'll inevitably, inevitably do? Yeah, but this is what it is. what you sound like. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's his friend. Uh, cause he... Believe it or not, I that bird. I want to an adventure. That bird is a girl. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that for the longest time. Alright, well, she kidnaps the sister. How does he even know? So he gets kidnapped. He does. Oh. Because he hears a whole bunch of commotion. So then, how does the bird, the bird's like, oh, I want to go on an adventure. Oh, just so happens your sister was kidnapped five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Banjo, and this here is my buddy Kazooie. I don't know. You're sure strange looking. <laughs> You're strange looking, dude. You live outside my house. How have you not seen me before? <laughs> Where did you go? What was all the noise about? Where is my sister, Tootie? Tootie? <laughs> yeah. I figured you were gonna do the voice for me. What? You're not gonna do voices with me? I could, but you'd be taking it all up. I'm not making it I don't know. You're just kinda bad, so that's kinda good. Oh, I'm training before you. I already know how to do all this. Press A. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Decline training? Yeah. Uh, I already know. Like uh, the... From our last video, I think you need some training. No, I already know, like, all the... It's a platformer. That Hitman, okay, was strategically difficult as hell, bruh. I'll give you five minutes before you die. You're not Let it commit. <laughs> <Did you die? laughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The honeycombs. Honeycombs. Those are my health. I have sticky, tasty honey energy. Yeah. I guess because of the bear. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. This game is weird. Oh, dude, it's the best, man. I don't know about all that. Yeah, like after. Like after Mario 64, I never really played that either. You never played Mario 64? You uh, had? Did you had a Nintendo 64? Yeah. Did you had any piece of childhood that you utterly loved before? You know, I mean, adulthood just smacked you across the face. It was like, girl, the f up. Well, the main the main games I played on the 64 were Mario Tennis, Mario Party, um, Pokemon, Pokemon Snap, okay. in particular. Okay. 
uh, and then a bunch of like weird other titles. But as far as Mario games go, I really just had the party, the tennis, and Mario Kart. That was really all I played Mario wise. So you never really got a chance to play the party. No. No, like I never really played any Zeldas or anything like that. Oh, that's that's good, because that's just really good. Yeah, I guess. I mean I have I have some time in uh the new Zelda but the wild, but I don't play it that often. Oh wow, I'm just not I don't know. It's, it's not that I don't like it, it's just you don't have any puzzle pieces. I don't. So, uh, wow. Were they not interesting to you? Um, no, it's just, you know, that, you know, we played what we could. And I played a lot of GoldenEye, too. Okay. But I also played a lot of GoldenEye by myself. Oh god! Um, and uh, my brother was pretty young when the 64 came out. My brother was born in 98. So he really couldn't play games with me until you know, he was like four or five. So, you know, from like, from being born, I probably started playing back in like the Sega Genesis with my first console. So, from like 94, probably when I started playing video games, uh, till about 2003, I didn't really have anybody to play games with. And Until you met me! Well, that's, that was some time later. But then oh. my, my brother was obviously really small, so he, we couldn't really play. Like yeah, like, I couldn't play GoldenEye with him, obviously, because of, you know, age restrictions. My mom, you know, didn't want him playing it and stuff like that. Absolutely. So we played, like, a lot of Mario Kart together. Um, but a lot of games I usually just played by myself. A lot of play multiplayer has been games. I didn't really have anybody to play with, so like Mario Party, I usually played by myself. Oh, wow. Mario Tennis, I played by myself. I didn't really have anybody to play this game with. My mom would play Mario Party with so much. But that's like all she was good at, so <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty limited. But um, that was really it. I didn't really have friends to play games with, or go over their house and hang out, or anything like that. Oh, wow. So... Certain games, like, you know, just couldn't, uh, couldn't buy every game that came out, so. Well, yeah. Kind of limited. I had to pick and choose. True. And Mario 64 is something that I, I don't know, as, a, as like a six, seven year old kid, I didn't realize existed. <laughs> I'm, 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 it existed. Yeah. But yeah, like, well. Play, play a lot of, like, uh, play a lot of, uh, budget, uh, clearance rack games. <laughs> Um, Those were good. Because that's what, you know, we could afford. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I remember one Christmas, uh, you know, my parents, my parents, okay. <laughs> you know, a two come from home at the beginning, um, my parents, my dad, you know, he was still going to nursing school and all that, and my mom, she had a couple of jobs. So, you know, we didn't have a lot. My parents, they still wanted to give me a really good Christmas. Oh, of course. They... I mean, my mom, my mom did everything she could, but just sure. picking up Mario 64 wasn't on my... Yes list. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And with games like Zelda, you know, I just never got into. Yeah. Just because I didn't really know anything about it. You know, like, I played Mario on, like, the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, and my cousin's houses. But I never owned a Nintendo or a Super Nintendo. Like, my first console was a Sega Genesis, and then I got a Nintendo 64. And then, we had the 64 up until, I believe, the game. So, it's like, I didn't have, like, we had a PS1, but we only had, like, a handful of games for it. So, I played a lot of like, and, like, the original Tomb Raider. And then we had, like, a couple racing games, and, like, uh, Resident Evil 2. I think that's still laying around somewhere. PlayStation 1. Oh. So, like, that's really all we had for the PlayStation 1. The PlayStation 1 technically. So, I didn't really 
play too much PlayStation games. Uh, Sega, I mean, I had the Game Boy, so I played that one, so I played Pokemon. That's why I spent most of my time there. And, uh, that's, that's really, uh, the cool of it. So it's like these open platformer games that just never really caught my eye. <laughs> but they should. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying that they're bad, it's just something that... <laughs> I just love it. That's annoying. <laughs> but yeah, that's it in a nutshell. So I, I had no friends. Yeah. And we didn't have a lot of money to buy all the games. So I kind of took what I could. I remember playing a, a hockey game on the Nintendo 64. That was oh. a lot of fun. You know what game I played on the 64? Oh, 1080. Oh, 1080 at one. Yeah. I didn't own that game. Actually, up until recently. I bought it like a couple months ago. That's a game I never played until until recently. Yeah, like um, what do you call it? Uh, Blockbuster it used to be like the pinnacle of renting games. Yeah, that my Mario Tennis copy came from Blockbuster. <laughs> it still has the same. <laughs> Well, yeah, yes, af thief. after a while, they would sell them. Yeah, kind of like what Redbox does now. Like, after a while, you can just buy the games out of the Redbox. The same thing at Blockbuster. After they kind of lost its popularity, like, obviously, like, on the PlayStation, you know, came out and stuff like that, yeah. you know, they would get rid of the older games. And I actually have my copy of Mario Tennis has a Blockbuster sticker on it. And, of course, games like Zelda are usually like the first to go, so I never really ever even saw it, you know, I always kind of got what was left over. But then again, it also depended on the, uh, the money, you know, like I had to buy stuff that was cheap. No, that was not. Donkey Kong 64, I played. Mm -hmm. That was probably the only, like, was a good 3D one. platformer on the 64 that we had. But I don't know where that was. The one game that I really wanted to play, which obviously I wanted to play, was the 64. It was Pop Christian. I honestly didn't even know that game existed oh, until, like, God. five years ago. It did. Like, it existed. And it was, like, the only, like, famous game that really Nintendo the mob, you know? Well, I mean, the, the, the Nintendo 64 had... Well... It had... There was Mortal Kombat on the 64. Yeah, but, this, but Cocker's Bad Fur Day was raunchy as hell, man. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was just bad. Can you kill that guy, or did you just do that? Just like this? Uh, no, you can take him out. If you take him out, he gives you another... Nice jump. He gives you another uh, puzzle piece. Yeah. As soon as I get up here, that sliding the whole place. Oh, like Yoshi. Yeah. Like, uh, but it's not a good Fudge a doodle. Fudge a doodle. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what it is? Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo? Yeah. Teen Titans? Oh no, but his name is Mumbo Jumbo. Is it really? Yeah. Jeez, so creative. What's that thing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is a junior. A junior? What? A I think I'm, I'm I think I only sure. saw one thing standing there. Oh, but I collected the other one. See, if you collect all of them, I believe they give you a puzzle piece. And they're just like... They're the same creatures in every level. Okay. Yeah. So, and because like Mario, mm -hmm. there's many ways to get those puzzles. Yeah. Just like Whoa. Mario. Oh, there's a bunch. One right there. What the whole jumping house? Didn't even give him a chance to talk. It just owned his ass. Like, I own this game. Oh, now that I'm adult, for some reason this is really hard. <laughs> right? If you ever have you ever come across that once in a while? Like when Playing you played old game. Yeah, yeah, you played it as a kid and you're like, yeah, this is awesome. And then you're sitting there, you're like, this is complicated as hell. What am I doing? Uh, it's really weird, because like I'll play older games and with the the advancement and 
the technology of the controllers, you, like, you don't realize how much controllers have advanced. Like, when you play an older game, yeah. and then you play a modern game, and you're like, how the fuck did I even play this? Exactly. Like, it's like, like these controllers are so bad. <laughs> it's like when you go to play, like, original, like, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, with this new Yeah. It's like, I used to be able to get, like, the, through the first three worlds without even taking a hit, because I just played it so often. And then I try again, like, I'll try again now, and I'll just, I'll be lucky if I can get to the first stage without dying. <laughs> but it's like, man, I don't remember it being this hard. Exactly. Like, I played a couple of games. Even, like, Mortal Kombat. I know. I always stuck with Mortal Kombat, though. But the newer ones are a lot easier. You need one more skull there, but. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where I can find the last one. It's probably not in there. Well, Kyle. So yeah, I just, uh, I guess it was just an all, all matter of, uh, perspective. Uh, but I don't know, we should, we should play older games and see if we can, if they hold up the way they did I think we were this kids. Is, I, think this is I think maybe we can make a whole new segment out of this. Oh, yeah. Just play older games, oh, but we, we should play it. on, uh, we should play on the original console. Because a lot of the games they don't have. Woo! Woo! Oh, wait. Uh, nice. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I can touch it with my ass! Keep on ah, there you go. I got it. Man. Nice. He <laughs> just slides his <laughs> slides right down. But yeah, we should play old games. Okay, we should dig out all our old games and play. Perfect old game. Just to see if they hold up. We should do like some original GoldenEye multiplayer. Oh, God. That way you can hate each Fine. other. Fine. Yeah. Alright. Goal of the GoldenEye game. No use in the Golden Gun. And nobody plays the Mini Me. The mini me? Odd job? Odd job is the... No! Odd job is the dude with the hat. Yeah, he was cheap too. I thought he was the short Ooh. one. No! No, odd job is the super strong one. Because he had that hat. And if the hat could always come back, like he had the endless Yeah, it was the one shot kill hat. Yeah. Ooh. What are you supposed to do? Maybe you have to talk Ooh. to them? I am I <laughs> Let me prick on your head! <laughs> You have five. You have to go to the sign. Oh. You have to, I you have to mashed a lot of buttons. Oh, okay. That's good. Now you're an ant. Yep. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Do you have to pay five skulls every time you want to change, or is it no, now no, just no. something you can do? In this level, once you pay the amount, you can change it amount any time you want. So you, but you don't, do you have to go back to him to change back to the ant? Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. It, it is annoying, but... <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> that's creepy. That is creepy. Um, but no, um... Like, only certain segments of a level yeah. is useful. Like, right now... This being an ant is useful. Oh, nice. Because he sticks. Yeah. He won't slide. Exactly. So, you know, so it's not really annoying. You know, I'm certain... not saying it's annoying, I'm just saying that... Just dead. <laughs> oh, God! Nice. Can you attack? Yeah. Is the ant? No, oh, you're a Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Being an animal form is probably the useless point of this game, but... But you are an animal, right? You're a bear. Yeah, but bear with a kick-ass friend. Give me that cool backpack, or else. That is a sweet backpack. <laughs> it's gonna be. Yeah, if they came back with that backpack, oh yeah. it's just a blue backpack. It's not like anything special. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would have loved it if you just jumped off the side and that Oh, I've done it before. Can you hit him from here? I can jump from here. You ready? Uh, I guess. I don't know, but I think maybe that's what we'll start doing. We'll start with this, oh, yeah. and we'll just play games from our childhood and see if they uh, see if they hold up. 
if people like it. If yeah. People like it. Because a lot of games from our childhood probably aren't going to hold up that well. Oh no. And we're gonna have to. We should make well, a We should play 64. them. <laughs> we should play them on uh, on the original consoles. Oh. That way we get the janky controller. We have the technology. In some games we probably no, we're not gonna find remastered versions of. Oh, of course not. But you I think, think, yeah. Yeah. I think we should. Um, I think we should do that. Let us I don't know. think this is remastered. Really awesome. I don't think it's remastered, but they just kind of redid it. Re Release. Yeah, they just redid it for. Uh, kind of like that Phantom Dust. Yeah. Which, by the way. Yeah. What? I'm super upset. Um, yeah, because they just re released it. Yeah, they, they just re released it. You know, they, they, were, they put that emphasis on the game of being a new master. Yeah. And people were looking forward to that. And well, no, they, did, they admitted that it was just a re release. Yeah, but it's like. It was a little upsetting. It's just because, lazy. Yeah, it was. Because it's like. Well, Xbox is struggling this gen. I have to say. Xbox is really struggling with exclusives and just working in general. Like, they just released PUBG. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of PUBG, but... Yeah. I mean, it's got a huge following, and they put it out for Xbox, and it's just, like, really janky. Yeah. But, I mean, it is technically early access, but... A lot of, like, console-only players aren't really going to understand that. A lot of people think, oh, I, it's out and I can play it. It should work. <laughs> and I think that's what a lot of people are pissed off. PC gaming is really the only... A lot of... 99% um, of early access games are on PC, so, like, people who strictly play on consoles are going to understand the fact that, you know, the game's not finished. Oh. And people have gotten burned before, like, on Friday the 13th. They're like, oh, it's the official release, and then it just it barely works. Yeah, I mean, even even the creator, like, just gave up on it. Like, I'm they fixed it they, a little bit. They I don't fixed know. it a little bit, but they were like, we're done. I'd rather play Nud than I did Nud. Bad, yeah. I mean, I'd it, rather play that than Friday the 13th because Jason's like super, okay. super, super overpowered now. Like it does mean it oh, yeah, well, it helps when you gotta get, you know, when you don't want to feel like sliding down the hill. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but there is, I gotta get rid of that girl. Oh! <laughs> my God! <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted, man. Come on. Jeez! That's funny. That is not... We should play something. Give us a suggestion on an old game we should play. Oh, actually. We'll find it. We really have it. Yeah. There's nothing too expensive, though. Like, don't think I'm gonna run out and get, like, uh... Like a Secret of Mana or something. We can play that. <laughs> but we do have the SNES Classic, so maybe we, we can play that. But I'm just saying, like, other expensive games. That's not happening, but if it's like 10 bucks, we'll just grab it. There we go. Oh, I had to talk to the mold, so. Your home wrecker? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You are a home wrecker. Okay. You gotta, you gotta wreck their home and steal their children. This game is awesome. It, it is. <laughs> this is like. This is like... Can you throw something into that Tiki's mouth? Yeah. Who the fuck is that? Oh, it's one of the bad guys. Oh, it's an enemy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought like maybe... It's a native bad guy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Look. He just eats it. He eats it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ooh. Another life. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> Uh, enough to complete other uh, Enough pictures. that there's one every ten feet? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, see? Yeah, I have to shoot the eggs in the round. I think I'm gonna have to do that. Not that bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let me grab that honeycomb. Nice. If I can. <laughs> Do you already have full? Can you add to that, or do you just get five throughout the whole Um, game? if you collect the hollow honeycomb and you complete them, they will actually add another honeycomb. Okay. To extend your life. Alright, that's good. Yeah, so you, at least you got that. So I had to press the X the entire time I was pressing the A. I'm like, why is it? Ah. Okay. 
To until you talk to this mole. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Right? But, uh, That's annoying. It, it is. But that makes sense though. But for once older you, games. Yeah, but once you get it, yeah. yeah. I used to play. <laughs> there, was, there was an old Power Ranger game on the 64. I used to play. I forgot what it was for. It was, like as a kid, it like it was okay. Oh, of course. But now it's just like all. I think it was for light speed. Oh, wow. or, no. Oh, wow. I don't remember. I have it at home somewhere. But it was just like a really weird. Definitely. Yeah. Really weird game. But there used to be, um, I used to play the one through the Sega. I used to play the fighting one. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know. But now you're not gonna get him. I heard a blink like that. Maybe you gotta hit him in the face. Maybe you gotta do like a jump shot. What the fuck is that supposed to do? How does that benefit you in any way? You're wasting ammo. <laughs> I thought you liked it. That is pretty funny, but it just seems kind of a... My favorite one of now, all. Now, are there only ten Ooh. puzzle pieces here? Yes. Okay, so you have to find exactly where they all are. Exactly. It's not like there's twenty and you have ten. Exactly. It's not like exactly. Probably have to do it. 
I'll worry about that later. I'll show you. Let's take jump on top of the sun. Glitches! Oh, that's right. I can't actually leave in here. But to see, that's, that's the annoying part too. I have to go back to that world, wait it to the nose. I guess just save it for later. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll keep it there. I'll do it off camera. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. I think I got more. That's what the. Yeah, you, you got like 100. So yeah. the notes go open a door. Mm -hmm. The more notes you collect. And then you need puzzle pieces to get into that world. Yep. So you gotta do two things. Yeah. Okay. But the notes are easy to collect. Guess what it is? Yeah, they're everywhere. You don't have to recollect the notes. The further you go in the game, yeah. the higher the note doors yeah, go. Yeah, obviously. So, but the cool thing is, it's like, it's not, you know, you have to start over. You know, it's like a thousand. You gotta get a thousand. Wherever you left off, yeah. and then you just work from there. So it's not, it's not a complete ass. <laughs> Yeah, you. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Yeah, you. We go here. Okay, this one only needs two pieces. Yeah. Okay. And I put in the other one. And of course, it's time to go this crap. Yep. Okay. Jump right in. Hey, this is possibly my favorite one. Alright, so we'll, uh, uh, we'll save it for next time. Oh, yeah. Let us know what old games you want us to play. Oh, yeah. That like, we'll be really I mean, bad we're at. talking about anything. Yeah. Like, anything. we have, you know what? Just for your entertainment, we will even play, like, horrible ones. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know. All right. So. Whatever classic games, good or bad. Oh. If we can find them, we'll play them. Oh, yeah. All right, so. Next I have time. a couple ideas. You have a couple ideas? I have a couple ideas of Does games it? that I already own. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was about to go back. Yeah, again, like an idiot. All right, we're going to call it here. All right, we're going to call it here. Watch it. Hey, bud. Watch the bear swim. Well, until next time. Uh, until next time.